Hey everybody, welcome to IPO Market Watch. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. So I have actually a lot of information in this video to give you, but each information is very important, very interesting, to be honest. All right, so it's going to be very, very fun. Uh, there's going to be not one stock we'll talk about, actually. We're going to look at two stocks, and then we're going to look at the underwriter of those two stocks, which is the same underwriter. And then at the end, we'll look at past IPOs this underwriter bought, uh, I'm sorry, brought to the market and the big success they had just on day one. Other than that, they stank, uh, they tanked, and they sucked, and so on. So this millionaire maker stock is not one. Well, the the one out of the two, I might has a good chance for long term. The second one, I'm not even interested in. But um, the one I'm interested in is a pre-order. All right, both of these are available that you can pre-order on Weeble. Let's get to this, whatever. Let's look at the first one. All right, the first stock, right? We're going to look at the first IPO that's coming up. This is going public on December 16, 2021. Citus Space, right? Citus Space. So Citus Space is the underwriter is Boston Securities. We'll talk about Boston Securities later and why actually this underwriter is very, very important and uh interesting all right so let's look real quick now we're going to look at site of space what is this about what this company is about it is available right now on Weibo as a pre-order for four to five bucks and uh, for the next few days um, this woman here carol craig is the ceo used to be oh she's a u.s veteran was uh, a one of the first women to fly uh the piece the p3c o Orion Naval Flight Officer, she, uh, uh, aircraft, she was a naval flight, she used to, she was in the Navy over 15 years and so on. She's, she formed Craig Technologies at, at her kitchen table, it says 1999, grew it into a multi-million dollar enterprise in less than 15 years, and um, now she is into the aerospace industry with Cytus Space Incorporation. SID used the ticket symbol, price range 46 bucks. This company provides satellite and space services and defense manufacturing, all right, and it has filed for $15 million in initial public offering. Um, the company plans to raise $15 million by offering 3 million shares, and that's about it. Space company, Space Access Reimagined, Site Space makes it easy for any corporation, industry, and vertical uh, to start uh, their journey off planet with our rapidly scalable low cost satellite services. Look, please watch towards the end, the whole video because in the, in this entire video we're going to talk about side space, the positives, the negatives because you have to know also the negatives, right? I'm not here to punt this and promote this as this super stock uh, that you got to get into. Uh, I'll explain a lot of things. So, side space is a space as a service company focused on commercial satellite design, manufacture, launch, and data collection. The company supports commercial space, aerospace, defense, under, underwater marine, and other commercial and government customers with services including multidisciplinary design engineering, electrical and electronic assemblies, satellite manufacturing, satellite payload integration, operation support, and many other things. The company also intends to offer its LEO satellite constellation and mission-critical space-based data, it has generated space-related manufacturing revenue since its inception, so that's a good thing, but has not yet generated revenue from its commercial constellation space offering. Cytus Space ha was founded in 2012 and booked $1 million in revenue for, their tw for the 12 months ended September 30th, 2021. All right, so the first, for the 12 months ended September 30th, 2021, they booked a million dollars in revenue. It plans to list on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol SIDU, and the company filed uh, now they want the 15 million dollars so they can pursue uh, their uh, commercial constellation space offerings so meet lizzie sat this is their flagship satellite capable of housing custom payloads for any customer mission our services include multidisciplinary design engineering like we said precision uh, computer numerical control machining and fabrication swiss screw machining american welding society certified welding and fabrication and uh, much more we have designed and manufactured many flight and ground components and systems for several government and commercial customers including including large government contractors space agencies and so on so in nearly 10 years of manufacturing experience space flight heritage and space qualification experience 35,000 square foot operation manufacturing facility located in Florida. 
uh, 10 plus patents issued, existing customers and customer pipeline. Revenue. In 2020, they had $408,000 in revenue, and then, in, and then in 2021, their revenue went to nearly $500,000. So they had an increase in revenue, which is a good thing. It was a $91,000 change, 22% increase. Their gross profit is on an average of 44%. Operating expenses have soared 122%. Some things that we can see here in their SEC filing says between 2015 and 2019, we entered into contracts for the manufacturing, assembling, and testing of uh, space hardware components for NASA. All right, for NASA's Ariane spacecraft, which uh, include the Ariane lifting fixture, crew module, and so on. So they have they had a contract and uh, generated revenue from NASA. In 2019, they entered into contracts for manufacturing, assembly, and testing of uh, flight and ground ECS quick, uh, dis quick disconnects and uh, umbilical release mechanisms for NASA. They also did some work for the International Space Station. Don't I don't expect any big work, but they had some, which but still positive things, right? Again, in 2016, they had something with NASA. In 2021, this year, they entered into a contract. Uh, integrating and testing an X-band antenna for the small satellite market in partnership with MTI Wireless Edge LTD. So there was a $250,000 revenue from that. In 2020, they had the STPS Satellite 4 successfully deployed from International Space Station. In 2021, they had external flight test platform successfully returned on SpaceX CRS-21 from the International Space Station. So some things that CITES also does, they design engineering. So CITES provides quality in-house design engineering services. Machining, CITES provides it all, the expert engineers, skilled technicians, and state-of-the-art equipment to support pre precision machining fabrication. Water jet uh, cutting, CITES space offers a cost-effective water jet uh, cutting solution, whether you need a single part, a batch. They have 3D printing, so they have also, so the, from early stage product development to functional finished parts, cable wire, hardness fabrications, and Cytus Space Incorporation closed a $3 million private placement. Some other news that uh, Cytus was involved in, EFTP successfully retrieved back from the ISS, so Cytus Space is pleased to announce the return of EFTP, their orbit external experimental facility hosted on the NanoRacks International Space Station, and so that was successfully retrieved. They had Cytus Space partners with DH with Druva Space. So Cytus Space has entered into a partnership with Druva Space to collaborate and catalyze the design, development, and commercialization of new innovative space technologies. All right, so that's Cytus Space for now, right? So that's Cytus Space. This is a stock, like I said, it's on Webull pre-order now, four to six bucks. I feel because they're going with Boston Securities and because of that they have revenue, they have some good potential. Now, the negative part about uh, Citus is that this is a micro cap and it sounds all good. We offer this, we do that, we, 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 but you know what? The revenue is so, so, so tiny. It really shows that they're just a really, really, really tiny company that may or not succeed may or may not succeed if they do succeed getting in early off obviously is going to reward you huge in the long term but who has the patience or the emotions to withstand whatever it goes through because this thing is going to tank after five or six days i believe that's just my opinion i could be wrong so for me side of space makes sense as a pre-order and see what happens on day one and get out if it's a you know if it pops on day one and get out uh, and then if you really like this company you can get in at a later time when it tanks that's just my opinion. The other thing is, uh, the other stock is Fresh Vine Wine. We did this. I'm not going to go and cover this in this video because I have a separate video that I already did and I covered it and uh, analyzed it and gave you guys valuation score. This one is also going by Boston Securities. Thanks to Joe for reminding me on the comment section uh, of that anal a video where I analyzed it. So that's two stocks going with Boston Securities. Now, Boston Securities is a underwriter that uh, day traders love because they brought esports technologies and it was available as a pre order for four to five bucks on Webull. And then esports technologies opened up $25 when it went public. It opened up at 25 and you could have had it at four to five on Webull as a pre order. And then it reached an all time high of 54. They're the ones who also brought U time to the market for four to six bucks as a pre order on Webull. Who, whoever pre ordered, good job because that thing went all the way up to $107. And that's it. I mean, that's what usually the other than esports, which is hanging on very well since it went public. The other Boston security stocks, they'll pop really big, most of them, and then they'll tank. Right. 
Now, on an average that I did in a, a long time ago video on Boston Securities where we looked at all their IPOs, on an average, most most the majority of their IPOs will pop but then tank, right? So don't hold them for long. If you want to go with a Boston Securities and gamble, because it is a gamble, it's not investing if you want to if you want to buy it and sell it on day one, that's not that's not investing, that's gambling. If you want to gamble, then make sure that during day one, if you're if you're making profits, get out because most likely their IPOs will tank, right? Uh, so 80% of the Boston security stocks on average around there, about 80% will pop on day one, but all of them, almost all of them will tank after that. U time, right? It was one. The other one was Wunan Neck Technologies, which changed its name recently to Maywood Technology Company. Well, that was available also for four to six bucks. It was through Boston Securities, and it had gone up to $180 within two days that it went public. That was another crazy thing. Another thing that went public, four to six bucks with uh, uh, Boston Securities, and it hit $22 was Soliton. And this one's doing well. All right, this one in eSports is doing well. All right, so I think the Citus is a company that's very interesting. It's got some revenue going. It's got some potential. It's got some products that are not just, you know, a nothing or some Chinese unknown stock. Uh, they're a U.S. company for they 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 have had worked for NASA before. They had some contracts and so on. They seem very promising. I think that they are pretty cool for the for the long term. But I what I would what I would do is personally speaking for me is I would like to get in as a pre order, pre order, it, and uh, which I will. And then on day one, if it is way way higher, I'm definitely going to get out, take my profits, and then when it tanks. Um, I won't, I'll get in with a small position when it's saying. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you guys all the best. Take care.